people, how's your fandom treating you? So with the whole COVID-19 slash Corona slash Wuhan flu stuff going around, one of the things that it sort of stopped for the most part was the comic book industry. It sort of went from, hey, this book's going to be, you know, next week to, you know, maybe the week later to, yeah, we're not going to be uh, releasing any new books, physical or digital, and comic book shops by default had to sort of close down anyway just because, you know, how bad it was getting. So this kind of worked well for me because I was also doing, uh, in addition to more work at my job, I was also uh, talking about DuckTales episodes. So that sort of worked out well, but now DuckTales is like on hiatus, in part because of um, Corona, also because this is how Disney likes to do it now, splitting seasons up. Terrible. Now I find myself without anything to read, well at least for a while. For the most part there was nothing new from DC, Marvel, IDW, etc. And again, this went to digital. With the most part, they will be releasing trades, which is just, hey, this is issues one through seven in one book. There you go. Just there you go. Um, they also put out new digital exclusive books at ninety nine cents each, and they each star your, you know, your standard superheroes. We have one for Superman, Batman, The Flash, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, and even Swamp Thing. And I'm always surprised to find Swamp Thing as a book. I think I missed the Swamp Thing hype train. Luckily, I um. I just picked up a volume, a, a book of for Swamp Things. I'm going to figure out what this is all about. And these books themselves, are sort, they're sort of varying quality, but for the most part, they're just stable books to help you pass the time. There's nothing earth-shaking about this. There's nothing, oh my god, this will change everything. Like, no, this is, this just, this is, this is fine. This is fine. There's some fun stuff here, like seeing Aquaman and Garth doing stuff. Aqualad's little story. I'm seeing Superman and Lois have a great dynamic again. Batman doing Batman stuff, you know, fighting Clayface, Poison Ivy, um, Bruce Wayne's um, helping to expose corrupt billionaires. It works. And even Wonder Woman Swamp Thing, who I don't think have had a really good solo story for a while. Like, I don't think Wonder Woman's been solid since Greg Rucka, honestly. And even then, that was only 30 issues. If there was one book I think that was lacking, it would sort of have to be The Flash. And that's because a lot of what you see in this book is, isn't that different from what Joshua Williamson was doing with his run on Flash, and his Flash is still going on, so whatever. I think the best one would have to be Swamp Thing because it's consistent. It's the same story. It feels like every other book is sort of like, hey, this is story A, this is story B, and before we get to story C, we got to tell you story D, which has nothing to do with anything about with A or B, but it's all right. It's all right. I think what makes these books work is that they're easy for newcomers for people coming into comic books for the first time like hey i can i can pick this up you know i don't have to know what happened five issues ago or what happened last year what big event shook the dc universe to its core its core is still being shaken we're still waiting for death metal which is expected to come out next month so yay and also this book has these books have a lot of good talent some familiar faces like gail simone steve orlando robert venditti and some new faces for me at least uh amanda connor mark russell michael gray and dave wild gauze wheel goes i'm sorry I, I think that's the best i can do if you want something to just sort of pass the time i would say pick these up if you've got a friend who's new to the comic book uh, world like i'd recommend these you know they're short sweet and to the point and, uh, yeah, that's sort of it. Anyway, with that, my bring is going to close here. If you're new to the button, thank you for the like, comment, share, and subscribe. Check out some other videos. Have you read any of these? What are your favorites? I think my favorite might be Swamp Thing and Batman. Well, Batman's going to be tied. But anyway, I'll catch you all later. This is the Buck Think Tank signing off. Thanks for watching. As always, may your fandom serve you well.